it's your girl T Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey y'all. I'm about to get in this kitchen and I am cooking today some pork steak. Now, I have a Boston butt, right? And so I didn't have them cut it up and I didn't want to make no Boston butt you know shred or roast or pulled pork or nothing out of it i wanted me some pork steak so therefore i have to cut up the pork steak myself so i'll be showing you guys how i do that now if i mess up y'all don't get y'all don't come for me because it's my first time cutting up some pork steaks and i'm just gonna be trying okay but i'm gonna let y'all see me doing it so y'all i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my old subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet before you leave this video please do not forget to hit the like and hit subscribe and if you want to be notified each and every time that i upload a video then make sure that you hit that bell okay so let me go take y'all in here so grandma can say hey to y'all okay and then we're gonna get to this video what? you gonna say hey, hey there. they want to know how you been doing uh -huh. they want to know how you been doing well i've been doing okay Okay, I guess that's all. Been doing? All right, so okay, y'all. So I got my my roast or my Boston bud or whatever you want to call it, because to me it's a roast too, because that's what I make my roast out of. Okay, so <clears throat> you know when you do pork steaks, this is your pork steak right here, and it's a bone right here. But I don't think I will be able to cut through this bone, and I really don't want to because I'm trying to be as careful as possible. So, what I'm going to be doing is trying to remove this bone first, okay? <clears throat> to make it easier for me to cut out my pork steaks. So, I'm cutting as close as I can to this bone and trying to get it out. Now, I already know that this is a big, flat bone. And, y'all, I love bone in my food, but... I just can't, you know, on my meat. That'd be the best part, eating the meat off the bone, child. So, I got to get this bone up out of here the best way I can. Hmm. Seems like it's not too big. Okay, then. Okay. Go ahead, DMT. Do something now, girl. Okay, so, I feel like it's going this way. <clears throat> Make sure you be careful with doing this, y'all. I'm talking to myself as well. Okay. So. Put the meat from around up. Like that. Okay, almost got it. And there I go. I got my bone out of there. Y'all, that look like a neck bone. I'm going to say that bone. You go with something. Eat something. It ain't going to flavor it, but hey. Okay, so now I got that bone out of there. And this is what we have. Okay? So... <clears throat> Do I want to go? I don't know how many pieces I'm going to get. Ma'am. Uh, it's good. Okay. So, I don't know how many pieces I'm going to get out of it with it going this way. Okay. So, it looks like it's going to be really not that many. So, <clears throat> when you go this way i want to say that be the rib tips so maybe i'll go the short way and see i like it like this 
think so. That ain't no pretty cut because I went against the grain, but y'all see that? They're going to be some nice little steaks like that. Hmm. So I think I'm going to cut them just like this. Nice little size. I'm trying to get more. You see that? Ooh, child. Go ahead, T. Some nice little steaks out of it. <clears throat> and they ain't too thick, y'all. They about that thick. What it is, about an inch thick, half an inch thick. I don't know the inches with me. Okay. So, as you can see, this is easy to do at home. If you have a chunk of meat that you didn't get cut up, just get you a good knife and go to work yourself. And I might get <clears throat> about two packs out of this. This here. I told y'all, ain't no telling what I come and show y'all. Ain't no telling, child. Ain't no telling what your girl bring. So what I was thinking about doing was putting them on my George Foreman grill first, you know, and then take them and put them off in the oven. That's what I wanted to try. I like trying stuff, y'all. <clears throat> See, look at this meat, y'all. Look at that meat. Ooh, child. That's what I want to try. And I might do try it and see. I got me a bigger George Foreman grill. <clears throat> I don't know how many that is, but look how many pieces of meat I done got out of that job. What that is. So far, half of it. That's two. Four. Six. Eight pieces of meat so far. Okay. Okay, so since this is laying open like this, because this is why I took the bone out of it, at, I'm going to just go ahead on and split this down the middle like that. Mm -hmm. And now I got a piece of meat like this and a piece of meat like that. So that's eight pieces of meat. That might be enough. What could I do with this? Hmm. I don't know. So, we got, okay, so now on this side, that's the little pork steaks or whatever. And I was cutting it this way. So maybe I'll just start going this way, you know, so on the nice side, you know. That where I get my nice cuts. You know? <clears throat> Look at that, y'all. Now this looking like some real tip. Shy, go ahead, T, girl. Go on, T. Go on, T. Mm. Y'all, oh, yes. That look like real tips. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do my pork steaks right now. Then I'm going to save these right here. And get your fingers out of the way. And make me some rib tips. Barbecue rib tips. Okay. So I got me another pack of meat. Mmm. See, you ain't gonna learn nothing unless you get in the kitchen and do it yourself. Look at them. Y'all can't tell me that ain't them, barbecue, them um, rib tips. Them country style ribs. Get that out your way so you can see me. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Look at her. Look at her. And then it's laying on side, but then when you you face it, now you got your your nice little nice little rib tips. Look at her, y'all. I ain't no real butcher, but don't push me. <laughs> okay. See ya, yeah, y'all. Okay. I'm proud of myself. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with this portion. Go this way. <clears throat> Y'all hear that thunder? Look at that. Yeah. Ma'am. So now I got this piece here left. And now, let me see. Look at that. Look at that piece of meat though, y'all. I can get some little chops out of that right there. I'm telling y'all, I wish I would've saved the bigger piece because I had could've had some pork chops. <clears throat> okay. So now I got that. So now look at here, I got one. Two. I got one nice piece. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, look at those, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pieces of meat out of that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, y'all. Look. And then I got my pork steaks. This one here can go over here. So 16, because that's more like a real tip. 16 and 7. Look at that. So, yeah, y'all. I just showed y'all some. Okay, y'all. So, this is what I do when I'm separating my meat and stuff like that. I just get me a Ziploc bag and I put however many pieces I want in there and write the date. So, let me see. So one bag got six and one bag got seven, okay? And then I write how many pieces is in the bag and I write the date and I just stick it in my fridge. Okay, y'all, now I'm back and I got my pork steaks washed off and everything. And so now I'm about to season them. I didn't pat dry them though, pat them dry. So I got some garlic pepper, some Tony's Creole seasoning, some onion powder and some, um, complete seasoning and black pepper and also if you don't have the tonies you can use the morton seasoning salt okay and uh i forgot my paprika 
All right, so now I'm ready. Okay, so I'm just sprinkle, you know, my seasoning over. Season to your taste, y'all. Just cover your meat. That's all you do, just cover it up. <clears throat> With your seasonings. It's best to go light than it is heavy. Because at least if it's um under season, you could deal with that. But if it's over season, uh -uh, you ain't gonna be able to eat it. So it's okay if it's, if it's under season. But I just I'm just covering the meat with the seasoning. Make sure it's getting all over it. Now if you use Tony seasoning, then you know about Tony's. Like hopefully, just go lightly with your Tony's because y'all know. Tonys can be on the salty side. So I, I lightly sprinkle this. And especially because I'm going to be doing it on both sides. <clears throat> okay. And just my black pepper. Okay. And I'm going to flip them over and do the same thing. And when I'm finished, I'll be back. I forgot to show y'all that I am going to be putting my paprika on now. I forgot to show you that. So y'all don't think I didn't use it. But I am going to use my paprika, y'all. Okay. So I got to flip it over and put it on the other side. But I just wanted to come back and show you that, y'all. Y'all know I want you to see what I be doing. Alright, y'all. So now I had to change the plan. So now I'm over here. I got my big skillet. What? And I'm just going to add me some oil to this pan. And I'm going to pan fry them, sear them off, and then I'm going to cook them down in here and add a, um, a gravy to them. That's what I'm going to do. So I have just a little oil, probably just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, you know, as big as this pan is. It's a little less than that, okay? So I'm going to sear these up. <clears throat> let them brown on both sides. I'm not trying to cook them all the way. I'm going to give them some color. That way my gravy will have some nice color to it. And my meat will be seared off of it. Okay. So, I'm going to brown these on both sides. Mm, and that just smells good, y'all. So get those brown on both sides. And then once they start browning, flip them over, let them brown on the other side, and go from there. Okay? So I'll show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this heat up a little bit more because it's trying to heat up with a big pan on this eye. So once this heat up a little bit more, I'm gonna come back, okay? Okay, y'all see now, I'm turning them over. And letting them brown on the other side. And see how the, the seasoning is just getting this little crust on it. It's gonna be good, guys. Something different. I try to eat the same stuff. Chicken, 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 chicken. Which I love chicken. But <clears throat> they don't like chicken like I do. So I'm going to let this brown up and come back. Okay. <clears throat> so. Now I got this meat brown, some of them anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those so I can add the rest of them. I'm not trying to fully cook them like I told y'all. But just enough to get them browned up. And look, I got all my little bits in the bottom of this pan. That's gonna make a nice, nice, nice gravy.
Try not to do it too fast either when you're buying your seasoning season. <clears throat> And then just take your time. And see them off. Real nicely. This is what they look like when you see them now. And we're going to add this back to the pan. And get out. I'll show y'all when we come back. So I got all my meat ground up. So now I have me some beef broth and some chicken broth mixed together in here. And I'm gonna pour it right down in this pan. Okay. Okay, so now I got that. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my meat and I'm just gonna add it right back in there. Just like so. So now, I'm, that was about two cups of that, and I'm gonna add just one cup of water. One more cup of water on top of that. Then I got me some minced onion. You can use fresh onion, but I'm out of them. So I'm gonna take me some minced onion, and I'm gonna sprinkle me some over this. And also, some green bell peppers. cook the little grease that come off of it I'm gonna just be scooping it off to get rid of the grease and stuff but this is all I'm doing y'all and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cover it up with my lid and then I'm gonna just let this cook down on cook on on medium until it get tender and then I'm gonna come and add me a little slurry to it to make a gravy <clears throat> but when we get to that point, y'all know I'm going to come back and show you. Y'all know I'm going to show you. But yeah, that's all I'm doing today, y'all. Okay? So I'll be right back. Let me show you what I mean when I say remove that oil off of it. You're going to take you a spoon, and you're just going to go on the sides and just dip this oil off. All that grease. Just dip it off. You don't want to leave all this grease in your food. So, yeah, so just dip that out. And just let it cook down <clears throat> on medium until it gets tender. All right, y'all, so the meat is tender, and I got most of my, gr my grease and stuff dipped off of it. It's just a little bit left on now, but it'll be okay. It's not much. <clears throat> so now, I have half a cup of flour, and I measure it with the dry measuring cup, and I'm gonna just dip some of this hot water, this broth, 
into this to make my slurry. Okay. And then I'm gonna stir it up. Yes. Turn that TV down. Huh? Some what? Walk through that you got scroll there, what? Well, you must be eating my chips. Nah, and I gotta get some sugar shit too. And no more sugar. Okay. And I'm going to add some more liquid to this. Okay, y'all see. So I'm gonna take that and pour it right back in here over this meat. Okay, hold on. Now this is about a cup of water that I'm gonna add to that because I don't want my gravy to be real thick. <laughs> I'm recording. Okay. So now I'm going to put the lid on this. And let all this come together. Thicken, thicken up nice. I got the flour so it's a little bit loose, but I can still see, you know, my gravy and stuff, you know, the flour that's in it. So as this <clears throat> simmer down, I'm, I'm going to say for about 30 minutes, it's going to come together nicely and then I'll come back and show y'all what it's looking like, okay? All right, y'all. I am done with the smothered pork steak. And I forgot to tell y'all in the beginning that this video is a part of my gathering all your fragments, cooking up everything that you got in the refrigerator, deep freezer, whatever, before you go to the grocery store, okay? So, before I go to the grocery store. But if y'all was doing this along with me, then this is a part of that video. Those, that series of videos, I don't know how many it's going to take. Because y'all see I done made me some more meat, y'all. So, I got my rice. And this is some jambalaya rice that I made. Y'all saw it. It came from the Dollar Tree. Nothing homemade. 
I didn't add the meat to it. And then this is the pork steak. Y'all look at that pork steak with the gravy. Mm -hmm. Get some of this gravy. Yes. Y'all look at that. Okay. Then I'm gonna get some of these string beans. All right, y'all. So, this is the pork steak with gravy and green beans and jambalaya rice. So, I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. I hope you try it. Till next time, y'all already know who this is. It's your girl Tiana. I can only be me. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every one of you guys. All right. Now, let me taste a little bit for you. Let y'all see how tender it is. You lose that plate? Ma'am. What plate? Up here on the counter. Oh, uh-uh. Y'all want a bite? You want a bite of it? There you go. Get your bite. I want to put the invasion in there. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, that tastes good. Mm -mm -mm. So, I hope y'all try this recipe. If you do, take a picture of it and send it to my email. And let me know what you think. Till next time, peace, love, and blessings to each and every one of you guys. Mm.